Welcome to NFL Prime Time on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Bears put on a show and come out on top by 20. Tim Couch airmailed 350 plus yards and helped his Browns beat the Redskins. In the Mile High City of Denver, we had the Broncos get sent away with a seven point loss. Up at Giants Stadium, we had the Jets edge their way to a narrow three point win. Giants, Titans. Steve Air McNair, all little play action, has time, floats it out there, touchdown. Just like they diagram it in the playbook. The Titans win this one by the final score of 28 to 16. The Steelers' defense held their opponents to under 150 passing yards in their win at Ford Field. The Colts won on the road and will head into their bye week on a high note. Drew Bledsoe was unstoppable through the air and helped his Bills beat the Seahawks. By the warm waters of Tampa Bay, we had the Buccaneers come away with a very compelling 28-point blowout. Raiders, Packers. Charlie Garner is going to stay with this play long enough. First, he's got good blockers, sheds a defender. Will he get in? Hangs in there, dips the shoulder, yes, touchdown. The Raiders go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 23. Down in Qualcomm Stadium, we had the Chargers get nipped by three points. And in our final game, we had the Dolphins come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time player. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to ESPN's NFL Primetime. We've got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals squeeze out a four-point victory. Hayden Epstein had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Steve Air McNair threw for 250 plus yards and helped his Titans beat the Panthers. In an NFC East matchup, we had the Eagles pick up their third win of the season. Patriots, Dolphins. Deion Branch has some moves near the goal line. Makes the catch. Oh, what a whirl away. Touchdown. The Patriots win this one by the final score of 14 to 13. Down in the Lone Star State in Houston, we had the Texans end up on the short end of an 18-point shtick. Over at 3Com Park, we had the 49ers narrowly coming out on top by five. The Lions got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Ford Field. The Packers won on the road and will head into their bye week on a high note. Bears, Seahawks. Matt Hasselbeck has got a strong arm and a strong period. Watch this. Oh, he sheds a defender, throws while being wrapped up. What a big play into the red zone. The Seahawks go on to win this by the final score of 33 to seven. The Browns drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. Eric Mould had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Bills beat the Redskins. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Falcons pick up their sixth win of the year. And last but not least, we had the Raiders come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time player. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Welcome to NFL Prime Time on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Panthers edge their way to a narrow three-point win. The Jaguars won this contest and will now move to third place in the AFC South. The Jets win yet again this week and keep their impressive streak alive. Cordell Stewart took to the air for over 300 yards and helped his Bears beat the Chargers. Colts, Dolphins. Ricky Williams was going to do a lot for this touchdown. What? Whoop! 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 Touchdown! The Dolphins win this one by the final score of 28 to 21. Down in the deep south of Atlanta, 
we had the Falcons lose by a narrow five-point margin. In an NFC North matchup, we had the Packers pick up their eighth win of the year. Down in Tempe, Arizona, we had the Cardinals lose by six points. The Buccaneers defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at Tampa. Raiders, Lions. Charles Rogers, streaming down the right side. He could go all the Oh, almost. The Lions go on to win this by the final score of 25 to 20. The Redskins won on the road and will now head home to meet the Seahawks. The Steelers lost this one, but will stay at number one in the AFC North. Jeff Garcia get another good performance of the win and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. And last but not least, we had the Broncos come away victorious. So we're more or less at the midpoint of our season. Things starting to take shape just a bit in our playoff race. Here's the men that got my prime time players game balls. If they get their way, we will see them come postseason. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to ESPN's NFL Primetime. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Browns come away with a seven-point win. The Dolphins won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the AFC East. Eric Mould stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. In an NFC East matchup, we had the Giants pick up win number two. Jets, Colts. Curtis Conway with a little cat and mouse here. We begin with play action, then a long heave down the middle. He goes all the way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Little showboating could come back to haunt him. The Jets go on to win this by the final score of 17 to seven. Mike Anderson ran to pay dirt three times and helped his Broncos beat the Chargers. By the warm waters of Tampa Bay, we had the Buccaneers end up with an eight point victory. Over at Gillette Stadium, we had the Patriots barrel to an impressive 31-point win. The Falcons got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at New Orleans. Jaguars, Titans. Fred Taylor is on the move. Big hole left side. He's thinking touchdown. Look at how far he goes. He could get close to the end zone the Jaguars win this one by the final score of 18 to 14 the Bengals won at home but will take to the road next week to meet the Chargers the Rams won this contest but will stay at the third place in the NFC West the Redskins came away with the win and they're enjoying the view from the top of their division Matt Hasselbeck threw for 250 plus yards and helped his Seahawks beat the Lions Steelers 49ers Tommy Maddox gets his team out of trouble. Goes all the way into his own end zone, risks a safety, and a risky pass. Wow, breathing room. The Steelers win this one by the final score of 27 to 17. And in our final game, we had the Raiders come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm gonna toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Welcome to NFL Prime Time on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Cowboys come away with a seven-point win. The Colts won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC South. The Texans generated some decent numbers for a team ranked at the bottom of the league, but they still ended up losing this week. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Steelers pick up win number seven. 49ers, Packers. Kevin Barlow owes his line a big steak dinner. Up the middle, and there's nobody there. He could go all the way. 
Touchdown, 67 yards. The 49ers go on to win this by the final score of 35-21. to 21. Derek Mason hauled in over 150 yards receiving and helped his Titans beat the Falcons. Off the Missouri River in Kansas City, where the Chiefs fall by 10 points. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins walk away with a six-point victory. The Vikings airmailed 300 plus yards in their victory at the HHH Metrodome. Bears, Broncos. Marty Booker is such a force out there at wide receiver. Watch this, a little one across the middle. Bulls over one man, he could go all the way. Touchdown. The Bears go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 24. The Eagles won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Panthers. The Seahawks lost this one and will now fall to second place in the NFC West. Jimmy Smith stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Ron Dugans pulled down 100 plus receiving yards and helped his Bengals beat the Chargers. Rams, Cardinals. Justin Lucas really makes them pay for this gamble. Throwing out of the end zone, uh-oh, steps in front of the receiver, saw it all the way, and they're first and goal the other way. The Cardinals win this one by the final score of 27 to 17. And last but not least, we had the Buccaneers come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to ESPN's NFL Primetime. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Chargers squeak to a one-point victory. The Dolphins won this contest, but will stay at the second place in the AFC East. Marty Booker played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. Travis Henry rushed for two touchdowns and helped his Bills beat the Giants. Broncos, Raiders. Rich Loose Gannon back to pass. Buys a little more time. Beautiful post pattern for the score. The Raiders go on to win this by the final score of 42 to 20. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers drop this one by 17. Over in Raljon, Maryland, we had the Redskins come away with a seven point win. The Rams defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at the Edward Jones Dome. The Buccaneers won on the road and will have to travel again next week when they meet the Saints. Patriots, Colts. Antoine Smith owes his line a big dinner after the game. Never touched. Touchdown. The Patriots win this one by the final score of 31 to 28. In an AFC North matchup, we had the Steelers pick up their eighth win of the year. The Falcons won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the NFC South. Kevin Barlow get another good performance in the win and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. Bobby Ingram had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Seahawks beat the Browns. Packers, Lions. Lamar Smith shows all his moves here. Here's a quick move, a spin, a powerful move, and then speed down the sideline inside the red zone. The Packers win this one by the final score of 23 to 21. And in our final game, we had the Jets come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it sports fans. I'm Chris Berman and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Welcome to NFL Prime Time on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Jaguars come away with a brutal 18-point victory. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Eagles pick up win number seven. The Bills won this contest and will now move to third place in the AFC East. Bill Schrader had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Dolphins... Patriots. 
Darius Thompson. Gonna, oh, no, it's no run. It's a pass. Down the middle of the field to the hash marks. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! The Dolphins go on to win this by the final score of 24 to 23. Kevin Barlow rushed for two touchdowns and helped his 49ers beat the Cardinals. Deep in Cajun country in New Orleans, we had the Saints get sent home with a 14-point loss. Down in the Georgia Dome, we had the Falcons come away with a seven-point win. The Ravens defense came away with three turnovers in their victory at M&T Stadium. Bears, Packers. Lamar Smith gets in from 36 yards out. Oh, a little delay inside handoff, and it catches the defense by surprise. Touchdown. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 32 to 10. The Raiders lost on the road, but will get to head home and meet the Ravens. The Seahawks lost this one and will now fall to third place in the NFC West. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Redskins pick up win number seven. The Chiefs came away with a loss this week and currently they sit at the bottom of their division. Colts, Titans. Steve Air McNair. There's a real Houdini here. Buys time. Whoop, I'm gonna throw. Whoop, I'm gonna run. Oh, we get a throw. Fooled everybody in the park. Touchdown. The Titans win this one by the final score of 27 to 23. And in our final game, we had the Rams come away victorious. That'll do it here for Pivotal Week 14. Things ought to get very interesting over the next three weeks, huh? Before we go, my primetime players' game balls go out to a few gentlemen that are pushing their teams toward the playoffs. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to ESPN's NFL Primetime. We've got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals edge their way to a narrow three-point win. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Jets win their 10th game of the season. The Vikings won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the NFC North. Chris Billy Joe McAllister played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. Packers... Raiders. The incomparable Jerry Rice really knows how to shuck and jive. Watch this. Sheds one guy, sheds another, pulls his way inside the red zone. What a powerful play. The Raiders win this one by the final score of 49 to 13. Joe Little Bighorn had amazingly over 200 yards receiving and helped his Saints beat the Jaguars. Down in the Lone Star State in Houston, we had the Texans get edged out by two points. Over at Heinz Field, we had the Steelers get edged out by two points. The Eagles airmailed 300 plus yards in their victory at Lincoln Financial Field. Falcons, Buccaneers. Number 33 gets the pitch in the shadow of his own end zone. Sheds one tackler, he's too fast for this man. Down the sidelines, could it be? Could it be? Close, an 80-yard play to turn the game around. The Falcons go on to win this by the final score of 38-24. to The Colts won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Texans. In an NFC East matchup, we had the Giants win their fourth game of the year. The Redskins won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the NFC East. Dwayne Starks played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. Dolphins... Bills. Drew Bledsoe calling signals at the line. Has his time, has his man, has his touchdown. The Bills go on to win this by the final score of 38 to 10. And last but not least, we had the Lions come away victorious. And that'll do it here for Pivotal Week 16. As always, good. Do you have surprises to go around and plenty of intrigue still to come? My primetime players each took his team to the next level, and each is going to take home a game ball. Great work, fellas. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to ESPN's NFL Primetime. we got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. 
In our first game this week, we had the Patriots edge their way to a narrow three-point win. In an NFC East matchup, we had the Eagles win their 10th game of the season. The 49ers lost this one, but will stay at number one in the NFC West. The Bears drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. Buccaneers, Titans. Samari shake, rattle, and roll has his man shadowed. Oh, what a beautiful over-the-shoulder pickoff, and he turns it into an offensive play. Down the sidelines, hoping for the end zone. Finally knocked out of bounds. The Titans win this one by the final score of 35 to 13. The bust, Jerome Bettis, ran to pay dirt three times and helped the Steelers beat the Ravens. Down in the sunny skies of Arizona, we had the Cardinals get nipped by three points. Up at Giant Stadium, we had the Giants lose by 11. The Broncos erupted for 400 plus offensive yards in their victory at Lambeau Field. Jaguars, Falcons. Jimmy Smith figures on a long bomb. If you can do this, why not let everybody know that you're the one that scored the touchdown? A little high step, juke and jive, six. The Jaguars win this one by the final score of 24 to 20. The Bengals lost at home in their final game of the year. In an AFC South matchup, we had the Colts win their 10th game of the season. The Dolphins won this contest and will now move to second place in the AFC East. The Cowboys drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. Rams, Lions. Kurt Warner back to pass, buys more time, throws off his back foot. Oh, how did he get it in there? Touchdown. The Rams go on to win this by the final score of 35 to 24. And in our final game, we had the Raiders come away victorious. And then there were 12, the playoffs, right around the corner, which means it's time for our regular season awards. But first, my primetime players. The final round of game balls go to these Warriors, each with a standout performance in the final game of the regular season. All right, as promised, here's a look at this year's best of the best, our season-ending NFL award. Charlie Garner, without a doubt, is going to take home the hardware in this one. You see the numbers on your screen, but numbers really don't tell the whole story. Leadership, work ethic, love of the game, that's what truly makes him stand out. He had, without question, the best year of anyone. Rich Luce Gannon, who has got to be our choice for Offensive Player of the Year, and you've got to be hard-pressed to find better numbers than that. Obviously, give a lot of credit to the rest of the offense, but this is the guy that was driving the car, so to speak. Takeo Spikes gets the nod as our Defensive Player of the Year. I think when you look at this award, you think of guys that can really excel against either the run or the pass. But this guy can do both. What a year he had. Carson Palmer comes away with the Offensive Rookie of the Year Award. You know, it's very difficult to come straight from college. He handed the keys to an NFL offense. But he stepped in and did a bang-up job. Watch out. It's only going to get better with age. Boss Bailey was our Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hard to think of any young linebacker with better instincts for the football than he has. He wins it in a landslide. Ace, Deuce, and plenty of use. McAllister ran away with the rushing title this year. Talk about a threat out of the backfield, my friends. Finesse, speed, a surprising amount of power, which he used to bowl over the few who actually managed to lay a finger on him. What a year. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to the wild card edition of ESPN's Brand Tag. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Patriots come away with a seven-point win. Chris Chambers had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Keyshawn Johnson hauled in over 150 yards receiving and helped his Buccaneers beat the 49ers. And last but not least, we had the Eagles come away victorious. So as the field narrows to four, let's hand out a few special playoff-sized game balls to this weekend's primetime players. That'll do it, everybody. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us in the Bristol studios. We'll see you for the division championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Welcome to a special division championship edition of primetime on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. 
In our first game this week, we had the Raiders end up on the right side of an 11-point game. Samari shake, rattle, and roll played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. On the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field in Green Bay, we had the Packers lose by 11. And in our final game, we had the Eagles come away victorious. So before we embark on some serious Super Bowl hype, Let's look back and dole out a few game balls for our primetime players from today's conference championships. That'll do it, everyone. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks so much for joining us in the Bristol studios. We'll see you for the conference championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Welcome to the conference championship edition of ESPN's Prime Time. In our first game this week, we had the Raiders squeeze out a four-point victory. And last but not least, we had the Buccaneers come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. I'm Chris Berman, and that just about wraps it up. Thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you for the Super Bowl here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.